Hey gang, Diane here today. Welcome to the studio. I'm working with some gelatos today. This is the Brights pack. I will link it below to make this painting. This was uh, for the um, Faber-Castell design memory team. Design memory craft design team. <laughs> I'm scraping some gesso onto a canvas board. You don't really have to, but I sort of uh, was being a little fussy about wanting a slick surface or a slicker surface. So I scraped that on with a um, old credit card, room card. Now I'm using the uh, one of those brush pens from Kate Faber-Castell. Now my gesso was a little damp and still, it's so hot here and sticky. So when I was doing this, it, there was just an area that, uh, just make sure your, your um, gesso is dry if you are using extra. I love this big line, it's so bold and crisp. Um, but if you do get paint on your, on a pen like this, just pretty quickly, clean it off. This was, this survived. It's um, meeting up with the gesso. And I did start this, you can see I'm varying the size, the sizes and the shapes of these roses. I'm calling these roses. And I started up at the upper left and I'm moving into the lower right. And now I'm doing some, you know, just, I guess you would call it overlap, but I'm just drawing that, drew that little rose as if it were behind the other roses. That always convinces people uh, that this is a bunch of flowers. I'm starting off with a dark green gelato, just all around the roses. And again, I did have a little trouble with the pit pens, which are completely permanent, just not quite drying in the humid air in Philadelphia. So uh, just be careful with that. It did smear a little bit, but that's okay. No, no harm done. And pushing the gelatos around. I'm experimenting a lot in this piece and um, keeping uh, the darker green close to the, to the field of flowers and then spreading the lighter green out. Here I am mixing the darker green, which I think is called lime, and this is blackberry to make a darker, even the darker color. And I started off blending in the well with some water. I wanted to stick with this group of brights because I really like to see how far I can push a certain amount of materials without reaching. So that didn't work so well. I got that nice uh, Faber-Castell palette knife and mixed it to the, mixed those colors to the side with a little bit of water and that's on palette paper, which is very handy to have in the studio. It, you could use freezer wrap, doesn't hold up as long. And I'm just going into those, those tiny little areas to push those back into the shadows. Oh, see? My pen still wasn't dry. It is so humid here. It's almost like uh, living in a cloud. But um, anyway, here we go. I'm sure there's more humid places on the planet than Philadelphia in July. Uh, you can tell me in the comments. And here again, I'm smushing. I'm using the dense piece of foam that comes in packaged in with the gelatos and I really liked this. If you don't like getting your fingers um, dirty, um, painty, I don't mind that myself, but if you don't like to, this is a nice tool. Just scrub it off before you go into another color. And here I've got a, a little stencil and I'm just removing some of that background cover. You can, if you wanted to, you could really remove all that color, all that gelato's color, and um, with a damp cloth or a baby wipe, but I just wanted to knock it back a little bit. 
uh, just so it doesn't really compete with the flowers as the focal point, but just adds a little something something to your background. So that was good enough uh, for the background. You note I am, didn't go all the way to the edges because you'll see at the end of the video that I put some gold texture lux to sort of frame this painting. And now I'm going, I went into with yellow, that bright yellow in the pack and use that for all the flower centers. And now I'm just playing with the reds and hot pink colors and filling in and um, smushing that around too. There's kind of an earthy color in that Brights Pact, which I experimented with. It does have a nice color. Yeah, just remember to keep your fingers clean if you're using this or your tool clean. And then, um, so I went ahead and filled in all of those roses next and uh, come back with, you'll see in a minute that I have a, a binders all, uh, any sharp object will do. And I'm just going to be scratching lines into that, right into the gelatos. It just brings it down to canvas and this was another reason I didn't want the gelatos to stain the canvas. I wanted that barrier. So there's my wiping off my fingers, wiping off the gelatos. I think you can see here what a nice detail that scraping back with the binders all or a sewing needle or what have you has. It really gives it some, uh, it's a little more interest and I hope you enjoy today's video. Don't forget to check the links below for supplies and blog posts and hit that like button while you're down there. And don't forget to subscribe and most of all, best of all, leave me a comment. See you soon.